Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 React tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about conditional rendering. So let's see how can we render the component with conditions. Several way to do the conditional rendering like using if statement, logical and operator and ternary operator. First of all, uh, let's see how can we render a component using if statement. Uh, for that, uh, let's create some stateless component. So this go inside the resources directory, then JS pages, and inside this pages folder, uh, let's create some stateless component. So right click new file and uh, let's say first file name is on component. Okay, dot JSX. Now inside this uh, on component.jsx file, uh, let's create a functional component here. So first of all, just import here, import react from react. Okay, now write your export default and function and function name which is on component component okay and inside this just return and inside this return add here the div and inside this div uh, simply write a message switched on Okay, now let's copy this and inside the pages folder, let's create another component, another file and this time file name is of component dot jsx. Okay, and now just paste here and change here the component name of component. Okay, and uh, also change the text in this right here off all right this is the on component and this is the off component now inside the pages folder let's create uh, one more component so new file and this time component name is fan component component okay dot JSX and now inside this fan component uh, import here react okay react from react and then uh, let's import this on component and this off component okay so right here import on component from on component and now import the off component Alright, and then uh, let's create here the functional component. So, right here, export default function and function name fan component. Okay, and inside this, just pass here the props. Okay, and here. Uh, inside this uh, functional component add here the constant const and create a variable here is on is equal to and uh, let's get the is on from the properties so right here props dot is on okay and now inside this just add here the if condition if is on is true then uh, just render this one okay on component so inside this just write here on component otherwise if is on is false then inside the else part else just uh, return okay just to write here the return 
return on component otherwise return of component okay now save this file and finally one create one more component so inside the pages uh, let's create one new component here and this time component name is appliance appliance component dot jsx okay now here import the react and also import this uh, fan component so let's right here import fan component from fan component and uh, now here add the functional component so right here export default function and function name which is the appliance component okay and now inside this just right here the return and render the fan component so right here fan component and inside this fan component uh, let's pass this one is on okay is on value so right here is on is equal to uh, first time let's pass here the true okay now close this okay and now save this and now let's create a route for this appliance component so go to the routes directory and then open web.php file and here uh, let's create the route so right here route colon colon get and add here the URI appliance okay and then callback function function and inside this just return here inertia colon colon render and here just enter the component name which is appliance component okay now let's copy this URI and save this file now everything is done so let's check so switch to the browser and go to the URL localhost 8000 and appliance okay now hit enter and you can see here switched off why uh, is on is one is true here and uh, on component this is the off component okay and here is the fan is on is equal to true and in phone fan component const okay here is the mistake uh, here simply write only props not dot is on okay now save this and let's check again so switch to the browser and you can see here switched on now let's change the value here inside the appliance component and this time add here the value false okay now save this and here you can see switched off all right now let's see the conditional rendering with logical and operator uh, for this uh, let's create one more functional component inside the pages folder so right click new file and this time component name is fan fan count component Okay, component dot jsx now here uh, let's create the functional component so right here import react from react and then export 
default and function and function name fan count component okay and inside this just pass here the props all right and here create a constant const inside the curly bracket total fan okay total fan is equal to uh, getting this total fan uh, from the props so right here only props and now add here the return and then add the empty tag here and inside this just add here the h1 tag fans okay and after this let's use here the ternary operator so inside the curly bracket just write here total fan if total fan is greater than zero then add here the uh, and m percent okay and operator logical and operator and then inside the s2 tag let's display here a message you have total fan okay fans in your house okay if total number of total fan is greater than zero then render this line okay this line otherwise it's not showing this line now save this file and uh, now go to the plans component and here uh, first of all let's import here the this component fan count component so right here import fan count component from this one and now let's render here the fan count component and uh, let's pass here the total fan so right here total fan is equal to uh, first time let's pass here the value 11 okay and uh, let's close inside the empty tank now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and you can see here this is the heading and here is the message you have 11 fans in your house now let's change the value and just put here the value 0 okay now save this file and you can see here it's only shows the heading and uh, uh, this line is not showing okay because the condition is false all right now uh, let's see the conditional rendering using ternary operator so for that uh, go to the fan component and here uh, let's use the ternary operator so inside this let's uh, remove this and here uh, let's add the ternary operator so inside this just write here the return and then add the empty tag here and uh, inside this let's add here the curly bracket then if is on is true then render on component okay otherwise add here the colon sign render off component okay and just close this here is the ternary operator if condition is true then render this block on component and otherwise render this component off component okay now save this and let's check and you can see here switched off because in the inside the plans component you can see here the e zone value is false now let's change here the value and just enter true and if i save and you can see here switched on 
okay so in this way you can use the conditional rendering in laravel 9 react so that's all about conditional rendering in La laravel 9 react so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching